I'm part of the team who will try to communicate with you and share with you experiences in the biblical ministry, catechetical ministry, all kinds of ministries. So how many are involved in the catechetical ministry? Raise your hand. Catechetical ministry as directors, directresses, or whatever. How about the others? What are you involved in, madam? Ay nakalimutan nyo, oh my goodness, kung sino pa yung mga baka sila yung nakakalim, dapat kami nakakalimut kasi puso na yung aming, yung aming ano, disk. So how many are involved in the Bible Apostolate? One, two, three. How many are priests? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Where's Judas? How about sisters? How many are holy virgins of the Lord? Five, six, seven, eight, seven. But the lucky. No, no doubting. Never mind. Don't question whether it's true or not. And how many are lay leaders, lay coordinators? Nang ano?
You did not tell me to bring my Bible. And they said, Mom, you're excused because you're a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I did not say if I had to hide or I had to run away. But you know, uh, the meaning of that is the Catholics, they don't bring their Bible every day or they don't bring their Bibles around. So it's all right because you're a Catholic. But I felt really embarrassed because everybody, without being told, they brought their Bibles. I was the only one who didn't have her Bible. But that was a very humbling experience. And I thank I think that experience because it gave me insights on how to behave, especially with all these uh, sisters and brothers in other faith traditions. All right, we go. We are here for a purpose, and I suppose that for purposes, and I suppose that you were given the orientation this morning, right? Yes. But since I have to summarize, I have to know what was given this morning. Father, what was given this morning? Can you give one little? <coughs> Little, uh, what did you experience this morning? Because it's a summarized good morning. There was a registration and orientation. Oh, there was a registration, of course. <laughs> 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 you cannot enter the city of the Lazar without the registration. Even with me, I had to register myself. And then orientation. Yeah. What, uh, what comprised the orientation, madam? Ano ang inorient sa inyo? Ano mga bagay-bagay ang pinaalam sa inyo? Orientation daw eh. It's not going to the Orient. Ah, late ka rin. Ay, mga yung awa ba ako sister? Don't look down. Look up. Because I will call you anyway. It is here, but it is always nice to repeat and to explain what this subject is all about so that you know what you are expecting, you know what to expect. How about, uh, sister, what else did you have this morning? Then, you know, Father, Vice President, give us spirituality of the Son. Saint John Baptist de la Salle, yes. So we always say, leave Jesus in our hearts. What is the answer? Forever. That is very, very lasalian. Give okay. Jesus in our hearts forever. All right. What else did you have this morning? Madam? Uh, we had the chapel store. Yes. By the Lasallian. Yes. Yeah, all new students here in the Lasall are given the tour. No? Sana kasama din ang tour to Jerusalem, ano? <laughs> so, uh, where did you go? Library, of course, the chapel. Yeah, even me, I get lost after eight years of absence here in the La Salle University. I see that there are so many changes, especially in terms of buildings and in terms of standards. So, you are very lucky because you are the chosen few. How did you know about this program, Father? Bishop. 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 Our bishop. All right. How about sister? How did you know about this program? Because this is the first time that it's going to be offered. It's in the email. It was in the email. How about you, Father? Bishop to be, yes. Ah, here in uh, Novaliches. Uh, Novaliches, yes. How about the others? How did you get to know this program? Through our bishop. Okay, that is what we do. We write the bishop, and the bishop will empower you to come, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you go, you go, you go. But as we always say, nothing happens by chance. You are here for a reason, and you are sent, whether you like it or not. Nag-atubiliman kayo, o kaya yung nagmamaktol kayo, andito pa rin kayo. But to tell you the truth, you are lucky because tuition fee here in the La Salle University is very expensive. So if you are given a free uh, tuition, that is already grace from God. I know that because I have been also a uh, beneficiary of the scholarship of La Salle for my doctorate degree when Brother Andrew uh, called me from St. Paul to teach here. After my sessions, I think that is to say, utang na loob mo yun, ha? yung pag-aaral mo dito ng, ano, ng scholarship for how many years? Four years, so kailangan magturo ka na rin. So, 
I did not feel qualified, but well, when the Lord calls, He will do everything to help you. So don't worry. And besides, tinitignan ko yung mga no, teachers nyo, mga simple tao naman ito. They will not be talking about your heads. And besides, good afternoon po. Pari po kayo? Yes. Ah, kaya pala. Ay! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Joke only. <laughs> ano, we were joking when you came in. So, um, I look at your, your, um, subjects and this is in response with everything that Verbum Domin is talking about and especially the new evangelization. So we have to repackage our methodologies and we have to repackage and we have to have paradigm shifts. Those who attended the sessions in uh, Santa Catalina, how many of you attended the session, the catechetical national uh, catechetical session in Santa Catalina? Bakit dalawa lang? Tatlo, apat, diba? Paradigm shifts in scripture, but we also have to have paradigm shifts in um, in catechesis, you know. So uh, this is an attempt to try to help out so that our catechetical programs will be enriched, will be deepened, especially in relation to scripture, to morals, and to all other commissions. Uh, you know, of course, that Pope Benedict said, you cannot have sound catechesis without sound biblical knowledge. That is why every catechist must have the Bible and read the Bible and leave the Bible, not L-E-A-V-E. -E. <laughs> L-I-V-E, -E. leave the Bible or what is contained in the Bible. So, we have here all the subjects that should respond to the call of the times. Especially at this time when the church is being crucified and when all other groups are ganging up on the church. The reason why we have Verbum Domini is because in 2008, Pope Benedict noticed that Pentecostals were, our Catholics were joining the Pentecostals. And so he called a meeting for the bishops all over the world especially the Bible scholars, to find out. One of them was Bishop um, David, our former chairman in the Bible Apostolate. Why are these people leaving the church? And they found two reasons. One reason is fellowship. Fellowship, they feel very happy with one another. Whenever they gather together, they're very happy. No? And then fellowship, the number two is fellowship in the, in the Lord, in the Word. They're very conversant with the Bible, even if we accuse them of memorizing only certain certain verses, this seem to be inspirational for them. And that is why we are also advocating mga who good lines, meaning to say, even if you just memorize one line of the Bible, if it helps you out, why not? Kasi yung mga accusations natin noon, katulad ko, limbawa, I have been in the academy. So when you're in the academy, of course, you're very academic. And if you are very academic, some people who are there in the pastoral, no, pastoral level will not uh, subscribe to what you're doing because they have to adapt what they think and what they learn to the level of the people. But now that I'm in the pastoral, pastoral ministry, I see the difficulty. Sometimes what we, what we have here is not brought down to the experiences of people. And experience is very, very important for uh, digesting and for retaining and for appreciating. Hindi mo naman na-appreciate ang isang bagay na ano, ang hirap-hirap intindihin. Super galing fragilistic experience, doshos, ano ba yun? Pagkain ba yun? So when you say transubstantiation, what is that? And then you start defining and defining and defining, but is that the experience of that child? Hindi. Kaya anong ginagawa? Yeah, nagtatagpo-tagpo sila dyan sa, ano, sa Starbucks. Tapos nalakda ko, ano ka pinag-usapan ng batang ito? Nako, mga ano, born again, nagpa-Bible sharing. Mas ano sila, mas uh, gawain nila yung Bible sharing, yung may kinalaman sa buhay nila. Kaysa yung uh, pinag-usapan natin academically. At saka nakita ko sa ating ano programs no, daming uh, mga 
Sila bay, sila boss. Kailangan matapos mo yan. Hindi mo ba napapasukan yung kwento, tapos na yung describe the different books. Describe lang. Hanggang doon lang. Description. Tapos hindi mo naman pa kung ano, kung sino ba si Jonah, isda ba yan, tao ba yan, o pagkain ba yan. No? So, but we're not going to deal with that. We're going to deal today, this afternoon, according to my assignment, with the process which is called appreciative inquiry. How many of you are conversant or how many of you know what we mean by appreciative inquiry? Never heard? And you tell, what is that little sister? It's AI. AI. That is the that is abbreviation, AI. A little nga. AI is appreciative inquiry. Ano ang appreciative inquiry? There are two words here, mother. In appreciative inquiry, we look at something which is positive and good in a particular group or organization. And then by taking that as the starting point, then we start projecting and developing a certain program and design based on what we have starting from what positive things that we have in order to develop. Perfect! Father, hindi ka na ikaw na magturo ako na magturo niya. Lahat ng sinabi niya, totoo. So you can get it from the from the title, Appreciative Inquiry. So appreciative is, appreciate, hindi naman gumagana ito, may nakikialam dito. Ayaw. Kaya na lang. Traditional. Ako na totoo. Ikaw na, o sige. are the problems. Hindi na tayo naubusan ng problem. So, tinatanong natin, what are our problems in the catechetical ministry, in the biblical ministry, in the prison ministry? What are our problems? This question leads to a traditional, no? traditional problem-solving approach. It focuses on what? The negative aspects of the past. Ano bang problema nyo nun? Eh, Siyempre, walang pera. Anong problema nyo ngayon? Ganon pa rin. Walang pera. No? So, focusing on the negative. That is what uh, we mean there by traditional. When we focus only on the problems of the past. But now, there is a new methodology that is introduced to us by a copywriter. Next, please. Next slide, please. <laughs> what works around? So, the question that we should ask, ito daw yung modern that is based on um, um, appreciative inquiries, ano ba ang magagandang katangian ng ating uh, asosasyon, ng ating committee, ng ating commission? What works around here? Or another way of saying it would be, ano yung magagandang katangian ng ating commission? Ano ang magagandang bagay na nakikita natin sa ating grupo? Katulad nitong grupo na to, anong isang bagay na nakita ko dito? Ang lahat ay very attentive. Nangongopya sila. Hindi ko lang makalang pong nakikinig. Basta <laughs> nangongopya, that is already something positive. Bakit nangongopya? Gusto nilang ma-retain, kaya nangongopya. Alright? So, the question leads on appreciative inquiry approach which is hopeful and future-oriented. There is hope. We are resurrection people. We speak about hope. We speak about something that is um, positive that will happen in the future. All right. Mabilis sila magsulat. So, next. Appreciative inquiry is a philosophy. A philosophy is a way of thinking. Let us read everybody. May mga inantok na. It is a view of both. It is a view of the same, but because we live in our world, we need to consciously go about filling in with the recognitions that we want. It is a positive and pragmatic philosophy that claims to have a choice to be born in our We 
can think negatively, we can think positively. Sometimes what we think becomes reality. What, you, what we choose becomes reality. We are the authors of what is. Even your face. You are the author of your face. Bakit kulubot? Eh, bahala ka. Bakit kasi araw-araw nakasimangot ka? Yan, kulubot tuloy. No? Bakit ang ganda-ganda mo? Eh, kasi choice ko to. Marami akong nilalagay sa mukha ko. So, kaya ang, ano, ang maganda daw ay sa mukha ko. So, Japan, Japanese. Ang pangit daw sa Japan, Japanese ay mukha ko. So, we become our choices. Reality becomes what it is because of our choices. One of my friends who is a, who is um, European said, do not complain about your government. You choose your leaders. You chose your leaders. And your leaders chose what the Philippines could become or could not become, which is true. So our choices define us. Whether it is individual choices or uh, group choices, we become what we choose. Right? Some choose to get married, some choose to stay virgins. Some choose uh, to be uh, fathers, others choose to be mothers. Some choose to be mothers and fathers at the same time. So, our choices define us. The same is true with our organizations, our groups. What the group chooses to be can become what it is. If we do not choose to be like that, it will not become like that. Ito lang ang sinasabi lang dito naman eh. Ay, na. <laughs> so, ayun, that is what the, the statement means. So, Appreciative inquiry is a particular way of asking questions. How, kaya nga inquiry, kasi there are questions that are involved. Um, a particular way of asking questions and envisioning the future. Why do you ask questions? Because you're looking forward to what will be. You do not say, kesera, kesera. What will be, will be. No. You have a kind of a vision for what you want it to be. That is why. You post it because you are directors, directresses, you are leaders in your own field. You have a very big responsibility to uh, answer to the Lord. Because sometimes the kind of group that you have depends upon the leadership. And especially in the Philippines, pag ayaw yung tao, ayaw na kahit anong sabihin mo, ayaw na. Kahit maganda yung sinasabi mo, ayaw kasi ayaw sa mukha mo eh. Ayaw sayo. That is why we have to be very careful. Envisioning the future that fosters positive relationships. Relationships here is speak about the relationships of the people within the group and also relationship with the program. Relationship, all kinds of relationships builds on the basic goodness in a person. So, we always say, man is the image and likeness of God. Kuminsan, pag nagtuturo ako dito sa Lasal, may itingin ng tingin sa kanyang grilo, tapos nakikita na sa mukha ko na naiinis ako kasi hindi pa tapos yung klase, nag e na sila. So sabi ko lang sa sarili ko, Oy, that is an image of God. That is an image of God. Kailangan makita mo yung image of God sa tao yun. Mayroon mong image of God sa tao yan. <laughs> when you are here in front and you look at you know, your class, Iba-ibang mukha yan. Iba-ibang reaction. Iba-ibang counter-reaction. So you have to respond to those reactions. But my point, the point here is that we have to believe that in each person is goodness. That there is some goodness in every person. Even in the hardest of criminals, there is a soft spot in the heart of that person. And if only, if only we can touch that soft spot. Early this month, or was it last month? Diba? Maraming naiinis sa ating presidente dahil sa kanyang mga sinasabi. But then all of a sudden, sabi niya, 
January, the whole of January, Bible month yan. I declare. <laughs> Presidential Declaration 124, the whole month of January is Bible month. Na, ano, gulat ako. Kasi pinag-usapan namin ni Chief Justice um, Puno. Sabi namin, paano kaya natin paano? Marriage si President. <coughs> Sabi ko, ang alam ko, yung kay Pacquiao, si Jing Ki, ang ina pros. Eh si Jing, Jing Ki, kaibigan ni ano eh, ni Tony Gonzaga, at kaibigan ni Diane Castillejos, mga born again. So di ba iyak-iyak noon si Jing Ki dahil maraming babayang nagkarakra sa bulsa ni ano, ni Pacquiao. Hindi <laughs> naman sa kanya kung di sa bulsa niya, di ba? So iyak-iyak si Jing Ki. How did they solve the problem? They spoke to Jing Ki, they said, why don't you... Uh, allow your husband to be attracted to the Word of God. Ayun, nagbasa-basa talaga siya ng, ano, ng Word of God. Nag-memorize, memorize pa nga eh. No? So, in a few weeks time, ano, wala na. Eh, pinagbili lahat yung kanyang mga tandang. Pag ano niya, uh, ito pang, ano ba, sa isang, pagsabong niya, pagbulang, ito nga, ano, pagsabong niya, at saka yung mga, ano, small apartments, mga ganyan-ganyan. Then, nag na siya ng Bible. Pagkatapos, nakita ko na siya. Nagtuturo siya ng mga, ng mga Bible verses sa mga obispo ng mga Methodist. Tapos ngayon, kung ano na nang sinasabi, dapat meron tayong uh, death penalty kasi si, si Jesus ay na death penalty. <laughs> Kaya naman na, ano, kaya sabi ni Bishop uh, Apo, um, Mali, pwede bang ano, kausapin kita. Gusto mo bang mag-aral ng Biblia, mag-aral ka sa akin. Hindi naman nag-respond. <laughs> Kasi si Bishop Ambo is one of our Bible scholars. No? So, nakikita nyo naman sa kanyang mga homily sa Facebook. Pero ano kong ginawa doon na ano niya, na series ng kanyang mga, kinokolin ko yung mga homily niya. Very, very practical ang mga homily niya ngayon. Hindi katulad doon. Very much above the head. Uh, when you're a Bible scholar, sometimes your scholarship does not go down to the level of the people. Useless. Kasi hindi naman naintindi ng mga tao yung mga sinipinagsasabi mo. Yung mga natutunan mo ba naman sa Rome at natutunan mo doon sa Belgium, dadalhin mo dito sa Pilipinas, ipagsasabi mo sa mga tao, nakanga sila. Kumusta yung ano, talk ni ganito? Yung scholar. Ang galing talaga! Talaga? Anong naintindihan mo? Wala nga eh! <laughs> sa super galing niya, wala akong naintindihan. Pero magaling! Ayaw, magaling! So, kailangan marunong tayong mag-translate sa mga, yung matatas, halimbawa yung doktrina natin, Trinity. O siyempre, oh, mahirap intindihan ang Trinity, huwag mong sabihin mister yan, kaya huwag mo nang tanungin. E pa, paano yung si Jonah, another mister yan, kaya huwag mo nang tanungin. Maraming hindi na intindihan, kaya ay nako, talikuran ko na nga yung ang daming misteryo. Dito na lang ako sa ano, madali kasi naiintindihan ko. So, ang ginagawa natin, dapat i-reflect natin pagkatapos translate it in the simple language which people can understand. Because yan ang kanilang kailangan ngayon, intindihin ano ba talaga itong ipinagdudul-dul ninyo sa aming uh, kaisipan na hindi namin maintindihan. So, pero ang ating uh, pinag-usapan dito ay methodology. Methodology of positive thinking. Positive relationships. And we start with positive thinking I am good. I am an image and likeness of God, no matter how you look. My seatmate is an image and likeness of God. There's some basic goodness in that person. Nag-retreat kami minsan, pinakita ng pare yung popon pad. Tapos may ink doon, may ink na stain doon sa gitna. Sabi niya, teachers, what do you see? Sabi namin, may ano, black spot doon sa ano, gitna ng popon pad. Ano pa nakikita nyo? Wala na po! <laughs> Sabi niya, ya kayong mga teacher. Ang nakikita nyo lang yung mga ano, black spots ng mga estudyante nyo. Hindi nyo nakikita yung puti that is surrounding the black spot. How many cannot understand Tagalog? How many cannot understand Ilocano? <laughs> And then, no kidding. How many cannot understand Tagalog? Ah, sorry sister. Who are you assigned sister in Labrador? Pare? Sa, sa mga doko. Ah, sa, ay, sa, like, sa, 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 sa
At doon sa pinuntahan ko, ay, ikaw ba yung nag-imita sa akin? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Sorry ha, kasi my disc is full. But anyway, may kamukha ka kasi na ano, assigned doon sa Labrador. Labrador pagkasinan kung saan ako nagturo ng first year of teaching. So, a situation or under, in doing so, it enhances a system's capacity for collaboration and change. It says here, if you look at the basic goodness of people and the basic goodness in an organization or association, it's very easy, you know, it's very easy to do things. Why? Because you see the goodness. You see what is positive. But when we see what is negative, all the time especially, then it uh, hinders. It is an obstruction to the progress of a group. Any comment? Anything you can recall? Any experience that can, that is hit in your consciousness in relation to this? There was an experiment about two classes. Nagkamali yung ano eh, nagkamali yung teacher. Sabi niya, ito dapat section A. Magagaling sila. Yung pala yung sinabihan niyang section A, hindi pala yun yung section A. Yung section B na sinabing hindi yun magaling, yun pala yung mga magagaling. Nagkamali yung ano, yung label nila. Ano ang nangyari? Nakuha at the end of the school year, mar maraming naging tambel dito sa mga ano, yung mga marurunong. At dito naman sa mga sinasabing ano, um, uh, section A, sila naman yung na-enhance yung kanilang, kanilang learning. I read that in one of the books because one of the subjects that was also given to me here is growth and development because I I took up psychology for my guidance and counseling. That's why. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Next. So, what are the benefits of using um, appreciative inquiry? It says here you can base your future plans and strategies on what has worked best in the past and approach the future with confidence. Meaning to